Hey there, welcome back to the Bear Farmer channel. Today, I just wanted to go through a little bit of an update with you guys on what I've been doing in the garden. And as you can see, the garden has drastically changed. Inside here, we've got a lot more space to grow things, which is what I was after. So come along and I'm gonna show you what I've been working on in the last couple weeks. So the first thing obviously is, this is the new grow setup. As you can see, have a lot more space. Over here you can see the rescue broccoli is getting really big. Still producing new shoots, new leaves, looking very healthy. And the onions, and that right there is a celery stub that I just stuck in the ground and it seems to be growing real great too. And I'm not sure if these onions will really get a whole lot bigger, but they're coming along. Banana trees are still putting out leaves, still growing great. Looking a whole lot healthier since I fed them. Apparently they are extremely heavy feeders and so you gotta give them a lot of food very frequently. So I've been feeding them about every two weeks and they seem to be looking a lot healthier these days. Back here in the corner I've got the avocado tree and it seems to be looking a little bit healthier. There's a little bit of new growth happening up here. A little new nubs growing out so hopefully we'll get some new leaves and growth here going fairly quickly. Went ahead and changed out its soil. Needed a little bit different composition of soil and I was assuming that it's getting a little bit of stem rot right there in the bottom you can see. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, mitigate that a little bit with the new soil composition I've made up. And I've got some new fertilizer coming for the trees that I'll show you here as soon as it gets here. Finally got the cost seeds in the aeroponics set up here. As you can see, they're looking pretty good. I've got a little bit of uh, light colored leaves going here on the cost, and I think that's because I had the nutrient solution a little bit too weak. So I went ahead and changed that out today. So we'll see the results of that in a few days. But other than that, these guys are looking pretty good. This back here is spinach. So hopefully we'll get that going well. It's not rooting very well, and this particular brand of spinach has not been super, super, and I haven't been getting really good results with it. Put it that way. This up here is a crack key tub that I've got going. It's just a little five gallon sideways tub and it's just crack key. Just got some nutrient solution sitting in there. And these guys right here are some Brussels sprouts that I have put in a crack key system. And I keep all my footage so I'll be doing a, a seed to grow video for these eventually depending on how they turn out. And here is our new indoor garden bed. As you can see, planted some leeks in here already. So we're gonna get those going. They're American flag leeks. So we'll see how that happens. And then back there in the back, I've got some more Brussels sprouts that I put directly into the soil. We're gonna be doing a little bit of an experiment to see which one of these grows faster and which one produces the best results. And that'll be in that video um, from seed to harvest as well for Brussels sprouts and we'll compare the results for the Brussels sprouts that grew in dirt and the Brussels sprouts that grew in the crack key system and see which ones did better. And you'll obviously be able to follow along as I do my weekly updates and see how the progress of everything is going but for continuity's sake for those that don't want to go back and watch every single weekly update that I do It'll be better uh, once I compile all the information into one grow video for that particular type of seed and whether the hydroponics does better and for growing indoors, that's, that's what we really want to know, right? That's why we're called the bear farmer, is I want to get to the bare basics of growing things indoors. The last thing I want to show you today is this new seed sprouting method that I'm trying. I got this from Hucho's. Uh, YouTube channel and it seems to be working fairly well. It's actually a seed sprouter that you can get for your kitchen to eat sprouts but it works really well for also sprouting, go figure. And I've got some mustard, I've got some uh, kale and I think this over here, let's take a look at what that says, is carrots. And that's actually for the indoor garden bed. But once again, I'm trying to sprout things first so that I know I have a guaranteed germination and I can actually get them the appropriate distance apart. So that's carrots, mustard, and kale that I'm gonna be, 
The mustard and kale I'm going to be putting in the aeroponics system with the lettuces as well. And then up here, this is actually the base of it. You, you flip this guy right here over and you pour the water in and as you can see there's little tiny holes on the outside that actually drain through into this bottom container so you can keep recycling it. And this is just cilantro that I've got going and I'm going to be putting that in a crack key as well with some basil that I'm going to be sprouting on my next round. And I'm actually going to be doing a video, video tutorial on that as well so that you guys can see how that seed sprouter actually works and what I'm doing with it and can replicate that as well. It's worked really well for me. Again, Hucho was the one that I saw doing it and you can go check his videos out too. Credit where credit is due. Uh, he's got some good ideas and good systems over there too. So check him out if you guys want to. Well, thanks for joining me on my weekly update this week. Let me know in the comments, what are you guys the most excited to see the results of? I'm most excited to see the results of the Cracky Brussels sprouts, but we'll see how that goes. And I'm really excited to have my aeroponic system finally running. If you can spare a quick second to hit that like button, it'll really help us out. And as always, consider subscribing if you like our content and want to hear more things that we've got going on. Until next time, see you guys later. God bless.